Hi folks, Chris Voss here from the ChrisVossShow.com, the ChrisVossShow.com. Got a lot of new people that are coming on board Triver. We're really excited about it. And so we want to make like a little training video to show you what you want to do to get success out of Triver, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll make this little video and go through it very quickly. Now this is uh, Triver.com. This is probably what you see when you log in every day. Depending upon what you do, uh, you can see there's a picture of Dino Dugan or Dogan. I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, Dino. Um, he is one of the... Uh, co-founders of um, Triber and I think his partner somewhere around here. Anyway, we'll get into this. Now, <clears throat> Triber used to have an automation thing. They currently don't. There's, of course, a lot of stuff that Triber's always changing and, and improving and everything else, and that's why it's really exciting, exciting to be involved with Triber. They're working on stuff with Facebook, possibly Google+. Plus. Um, it's a constant evolving product. These guys work really hard, uh, and they... Uh, I, I, you can tell they work hard um, to really develop this and keep it very fluid and growing. So if you do get involved with Triber, don't be stupid and go, oh, it doesn't look like it's that much interesting. It's going to keep being interesting. You want to want to see where this product is going to go. Um, so what you're going to need to do is is it's not automated currently uh, where it used to be. So you need to be checking in at least every day or every other day. Now the reason you'll need to do that is to make sure that you're approving uh, other people's uh, tweets that need to be sent out from their RSS feeds and their blogs and uh, you know you might want to also check on what you're doing. So let's show you how to do that here. Now if you're new to Triber you've probably set up a few of these things. Um, in your Twitter settings you can have up to three Twitter accounts. Now, if you're in different tribes, you can assign these different Twitter accounts to different tribes, which is very cool. Um, the uh, Let's go to RSS settings here. The RSS settings are where you might put in your RSS for your blog or whatever it is you want to put in here. Now, the thing is, is you're sending out stuff on people's Twitter streams. They're trusting you to put good quality content out. They don't want get-rich-quick schemes. They don't want garbage to their streams. Otherwise, people are going to kind of go, you know what, I don't like this person. I don't like what they're putting through, and they're not going to prove your tweets. So you really want to play the cool card here and making sure that what you're putting in content for the RSS settings really good. I've already seen some garbage coming through, like some dumb quotes and some and some Empire Avenue things. Don't send that kind of garbage through. You're gonna piss off your Triber members. Most of the people you're gonna find on Triber are really professional social media people and they're really sensitive to what you put through the tribe. So be respectful, give them the same courtesy and everyone wins. Um, so you can put your RSS feed in here. You can add multiple ones and adjust them, et cetera, et cetera. You can read more on Triber in their help section about that. Uh, content settings. In here, you can adjust what you want to do. Now, it used to be when Triber was automated, some of the stuff was important, like share Tribe members posts that contain explicit words. You could block those if you want. Allow Tribe members to basically repost their posts, replay their posts, if you will. Um, now that we're on a manual system where you have to prove every single tweet that goes out on your stream, this really doesn't apply too much anymore. But like I said, Triber is in a constant fluid state of change, and that may change in the future, which this video probably will at that time. Um, you get emails when tri new tribe mates join, emails when someone comments on a bonfire, bonfire discussion. We'll get that into a second. Now, on here also, you can choose the frequency of uh, the, tr the tweets that you approve to go out from your fellow tribe mates. You can choose the frequency of how often they go out. Once you approve them, we'll show you that in a second, um, you'll... This basically sends them out in in uh, one at a time uh, based on what you want to do. So the nice thing about adjusting this the way you want to take and do it is if you approve like 50 Triber tweets from your Tribe members, uh, they're not going to go out all at once and your people are going to be like, what are you doing? Okay, so this is real important. Negative keyword search you can put in here. You can obviously see that there's several keywords here that are important where Tribe will throw up red flags because we don't want this garbage in the system. You don't want people doing, you know, that, you know, basically garbage spam stuff into Triber. It's bad business, and uh, you're really going to piss off some of your tribe mates if you do it. Keep in mind, you join tribes. If they don't like you, you're liable to get some complaints, and they're likely to boot you. Um, so uh, there's also a thing here for badge settings if you want to put this on your website, which is really cool. Now, the thing you want to do every day when you're checking in, okay, let's play like we're checking in. Okay, I'm going to check in to Triber right now today and see what I need to do. You need to be checking in every day or every two days because you need to approve people's posts, okay? If you want the same respect of sharing people's 
tribes or sharing people's Twitter streams pay them the same respect. I'll give you an example. I have over 125,000 of two of my accounts and followers plugged into Triber. If you have a 15,000 follower account on Triber, you're getting a massive amount of distribution by working with me and reciprocating by me approving your tweets and you approving mine. Okay, It really helps you out. Probably doesn't do as much for me, but I appreciate the distribution. I appreciate your involvement. And hey, you know what? All audience is good. So uh, this is why it's important that you make sure this reciprocity takes place, especially on a daily or you know every two days, every two to three days. If you're going to check out for a week or two, you want to let your tribe know. Say, hey, you know what? I'm going to be out. Please, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, just, just so I know. Because if you disappear for a while, people see you aren't reciprocating. You're going to get booted from the tribe, okay? Hopefully most tribes will give you notice. A lot of them don't seem to at this point. So uh, on the, at least that's my opinion, let's put it that way. Um, on uh, on this screen you see here, we have the tribal stream, the sent stream, my posts, and optimize, okay? And you can adjust these several different ways. This is usually the way that I keep it. You can see your individual tribes there. Now, What's, what you're dutied with here is you've got to approve these tweets. You can see there's already ones I've approved here, and they're just queued up waiting to go. Now, by clicking the settings button, if you will, gear, you can adjust the way this is titled. Let's say something's titled and you're kind of concerned about it or whatever the case may be. You can go in and edit and adjust that title before it goes out. Now, you can also delete it. Sometimes I see duplicates in the Twitter stream uh, that come into the RSS feed for one reason or another. Um, sometimes there's people I just don't freaking like that are in my Twitter that are my tribe, not my personal one, but other ones. And I'll just go ahead and delete their tweet because, you know, I just don't like them. Um, and they usually know it too. So it's not a surprise to them. Um, so you can do that. You can also see people who have given you a thumbs up or a thumbs down in your tweets and uh, schedules here. You can also tweet these out, like them. Uh, you can send them out on Google. You can stumble them and share them. So you can send them out through a variety of different social media things if you want to support the tweet that's going out. Now, of course, if you just hit approve, this is just going to go out on Twitter. You would need to hit these other share buttons if you want to do some additional stuff, and it's not automated through Triber. Now, as you go down here, looks like I've got a whole bunch of these that are approved. And uh, usually what I do is go through and approve stuff on what's in here. I think this is a new one I haven't seen yet. Um, and essentially, you just click to improve them and uh, send them out. Um, you know, usually I just look at the title. I usually don't look at the article itself. Um, and if I see anything that's like duplicate or something I'm concerned about, like uh, there might be some swear words, et cetera, et cetera, um, usually you're not going to find that in here. I mean, it's extremely rare. So I'm just using examples here. Uh, most of the people on Triber are cool and smart, so please do the same. Now, uh, so you can see here, you go through, you click every one of these. You need to be approving them or disapproving them. If you don't want to approve them, go ahead and click the button. Keep in mind, if you're not approving stuff and you're not sending stuff out on your stream, but you're using other people to get them to send them out stream, you're not reciprocating, they're going to find out, they're going to be pissed, you're going to be kicked off the triber, okay? Or at least out of the tribes. So <clears throat> here's the sent stream. If we click this, in the sent stream, you can see what you've sent out, okay? And this is what's gone out in the sent stream, okay? And uh, you can choose if you want to resend it, I suppose, and help people out. You can load social buttons and send it out, et cetera, et cetera. Now, there's the my posts. These are the posts that I have that have gone out through Twitter, or Triber, I'm sorry. Now, in here you can see I've got 50 visits. Uh, I can replay this if I want. There's some settings that I can take and do if I want to adjust them. Um, I can read the post, pause, delete, of course. Uh, there's karma that different individuals give me. If you saw in the Triber stream, there's plus and minus uh, karma that you can take and get. There's a quality score that you're, uh, you know, will come. I, I really don't know what governs that. You can you can look into a tribe or some more on that. Um, but this gives you an idea as to how successful you're being and how many visits are coming to your individual uh, tribe or tweet. Now, if you click on visits, you can see the success you're having as to how many visits are coming. Now, these are tribe members in your tribes that have gone ahead and approved your tweets and sent them out on their streams and this is the results you're getting from those uh, numbers. And you notice here there's some zeros, so there's some of these people that aren't approving my tweets on this particular tweet, it just might be the time of day or whatever the case may be. Now, here's one way you can keep everyone honest. You go into the optimized setting, you can see this here on the far right. In the optimized setting, I can choose my top traffic driving 
teammates and see what they're taking and doing and it'll gather that data up for us and uh, let's see if that's going to pull that very quickly for us. Looks like it's gathering some of the data. Um, you see some of the recent shares down the side. You can see different tribes that I'm involved with. Uh, social profiles, of course, that I've added. Okay, here we go. It looks like Lori Raleen Taylor uh, in the last 30 days has contributed over 771 visits. So I need to send her a Christmas card and a gift, I guess. Stephen Hughes, Scott Allen, some really good people that I know. Uh, now let's go to the bottom traffic driving teammates. Now, recently we did a big cleanse on a lot of the tribes because with the non-automation change over a lot of people were checking in manually and um, and approving tweets. So you're going to see a lot of that here when this thing registers. Uh, those people will probably disappear over the next 30 days from this uh, record. Um, but it's important that every day you're coming in here to the tribal stream and clicking and approving the tweets that go out, or at least every couple days, maybe every three days. But if you're not checking in, you're not reciprocating, people are going to blow you out of, out of, out of the tribes. And when you decide you want to put your posts up, people are going to ignore them. Um, there's some people here, look, we've got zero visits from some people here, um, that aren't sending me tweets. I'm pretty sure they're all accurate. I think, I'm not sure if there's any issues going on with Tribe right now, but, uh, pretty sure they're all accurate. Now I can look at these and I can say, well, it looks like my friend Rami doesn't like to approve my tweets, so I'm not going to approve his when I come over here to the Tribal stream. Um, like I said, they're cleaning some of these people out of the system uh, that aren't checking in. So make sure you check in. Reciprocity is the most important thing. This is a system where I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Um, I share your tweets, you share mine. Um, you can choose what tweets you want. I tend to put out a lot of tweets on a daily basis because we're a news service um, and becoming more of that now. Um, so if you don't want to send out you know, all five of my tweets that we do a day, you want to just do one or two and support me, that's fine, you know, but don't be a zero. That's the big thing. That's uh, probably not a good idea. Now, uh, bones, of course, are a way that you pay, and they're kind of a currency around uh, Triver. Uh, you can get into more of the details as to what the bones are later. If you want to invite people to your tribe, you can invite people to your tribe, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, let's take a look inside the Chris Voss social media group tribe. This is important. I'm not going to get into the dynamic tribes. You can. Uh, research uh, the Triber's help section. They've got a lot of great videos on that. Now, in this tribe council, you can post stuff in here to discussions of the tribe. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to post a lot of junk in here because this is going out to email to everyone in the tribe. And if you're just like doing chitter chatter stuff, they're not going to be too happy. Okay, so be careful what you put in here and how often you put it. You know, be friendly, but you know, keep in mind this is going out on email to everybody. And if you just put out junk. You're gonna be. You're gonna have some issues. You can see other tribe members if you want to follow them. Tribe is very smart. You can click on the follow buttons. You can see how many everyone has. In this case, currently right now we have 27 people in the group with the reach, a combined Twitter value of 747,456 people. That's pretty darn cool. That means every time that you tweet something, if everyone in the tribe uses it, you are getting 747,000 basic impressions, basic impressions, not counting retweets, um, if all those people were to send your tweet out. This is why Triber is so important to your success as a blogger and a Twitter, okay? Now, in the Tribe settings, you can do a few different other things. You can adjust uh, it looks like these are pretty much for me because I control it. It seems like there's another thing where you, I believe in tribe settings, you can go in and, and, and adjust for, uh, let's see here, you can adjust for uh, how often uh, emails come out, et cetera, et cetera. So this is important too and uh, fun to use that you can take and do. But yeah, you can see here, well, it's about the same. Um, anyway, be sure to check in every day. That's super, super important. Reciprocate. If you don't reciprocate, you're going to lose the chance to be in this. I believe, and this is my belief, that Triber's going to expand themselves to places like Google+. Plus. They're going to expand themselves to Facebook. And if you're dumb enough not to stay on the ride uh, now and not see the real vision of that, this could be really huge in, in being able to share that. If you could get out to my other streams, LinkedIn, Google+, Plus, and everything else, I'm huge on those environments. Uh, your blog posts are going to go a really, really, really long way. Thanks for coming by the ChrisVossShow.com. Be sure to check back multiple times a day. And thank you for having some patience with me going through this instructional video.